Welcome to Wagon Train Wednesdays, presented by The Archway. The thought of sending messages across the continent before the time of the telephone often brings to mind the image of a Pony Express rider racing across the prairie. But the Pony Express operated for fewer than two years before it was replaced by a breakthrough in engineering that would speed communication and change the course of history. The system for transmitting messages electronically through iron wire was the result of the work of several inventors on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. But in the United States, it is most closely connected with Samuel Morse. In 1832, Morse, who was a professor of painting and sculpture at the University of the City of New York, began working on a system of electric telegraphy. In 1835, he devised a system of dots and dashes to represent letters and numbers that we know as Morse code. Morse first demonstrated the early telegraph for his friends in his workshop and was granted a patent for the system in 1837. In 1843, the U.S. government provided funds to build a demonstration telegraph system 35 miles long between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. The demonstration system was completed and became available for public use on May 24, 1844 with the transmission of the famous message, What Hath God Wrought? The telegraph era in the United States would last for the next hundred years. The telegraph was initially used for railroad traffic control, but it quickly became a tool for the transmission of news on the east coast of the United States. In 1848, the Associated Press was formed when six newspapers pooled their resources to pay for the telegraphic relay of news that arrived from foreign ships in Boston Harbor. By 1851, there were more than 50 telegraph companies operating in the United States. The Western Union Telegraph Company was formed when a number of those companies joined forces in 1856. When the Mexican-American War ended, and the gold rush began in 1848, the U.S. Postal Service delivered mail from the East Coast to the territory that would later become California by steamship. Ships from New York would dock on the East Coast of Panama, and the mail would be carried using canoes and pack animals to the Pacific Coast. There it would be loaded on ships heading up the West Coast of the continent. The trip could take over 40 days. The first overland mail service to California began in 1851, when mail was scheduled to be delivered between Salt Lake City and Sacramento every 30 days. Beginning in early 1860, the Pony Express promoted mail delivery service between St. Joseph, Missouri and Sacramento, California that would take just 10 days. But the Pony Express was expensive. To send a letter weighing just half an ounce on the Pony Express cost $5 the equivalent of $156 today. The solution for speedy delivery of information was the telegraph. Congress passed the Telegraph Act in 1860. It authorized construction of a telegraph line that would stretch to California. The plan was to connect the eastern telegraph systems that terminated at Fort Kearney with the California systems that reached to Carson City, Nevada. The Pacific Telegraph Company, under the direction of Edward Creighton, erected its first telegraph pole on July 4, 1861, and followed the route of the Great Platte River Road to the west. The Overland Telegraph Company, led by James Gamble, would build east from Carson City, Nevada. Crews from Salt Lake City built both to the east and the west. When the project was completed on October 24, 1861, 27,500 telegraph poles had been placed and 2,000 miles of single-strand iron wire had been strung linking the east and west coasts. With the telegraph, messages that once took weeks to arrive could be sent almost instantly. California Chief Justice Stephen Field sent one of the first telegraph messages from San Francisco to President Abraham Lincoln declaring California's allegiance to the Union in the Civil War which had already begun. On October 26, just two days after the completion of the transcontinental telegraph line, the Pony Express announced that it was going out of business. Learn more about the role of the telegraph in U.S. history. Find these books at your local library or online.
the Victorian Internet, The Remarkable Story of the Telegraph, and the 19th Century's Online Pioneers by Tom Standage and Samuel Morse, and The Telegraph by David Lee Seedman. Be sure to follow the Archway's Facebook page and check back next Wednesday for another episode of Wagon Train Wednesdays.